Real class. This is all body weight, so you do not need a single piece of equipment. Just your beautiful, song, strong self. And we're just calling my this beautiful, one strong right self. Because we are really peaking yeah, right. that heart rate. That is the name of the game today. We're looking for high intensity interval training to be kind of the goal of today's workout. All right? So before we even get started, we're going to warm it up, not just the body, but also that heart rate. Join me at the top of your mat. Reach the hands all the way up to the sky and then dump everything down with control. Big forward fold. We're going to walk our hands out, out, out into a high plank position and then drop the hips to the floor, roll the shoulders back and take it to an up dog. Let's go from this up dog position into a down dog. So tuck the toes, lift the hips all the way to the sky. You can pedal one heel at a time or bend the knees, really getting into those calves and then drop again, sending the hips through into that up dog. We're going to do this one more time of each. One more down dog, lift the hips, send them up high all the way back and through and then one up dog drop those hips roll the shoulders down and back all right guys meet me in a tabletop position hands underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips bring the right foot outside of that right hand and then start a cat cow big arch and then big extension just like so we're gonna do this for a couple more motions all the way down and through and all the way up and in Last time, switch the feet, other foot comes outside of that hand, start that cow, start that cow. You guys got seven seconds left right here, arch, 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 and cow, cow, cow. Bring it back to that tabletop position, we're going to just bring those toes right underneath us and then lift those knees, hover, bear, crawl position. I want you to think about the shoulders, I want you to think about the core, and I want you to think about the quads. Everything is firing up, and we are holding this for another five, for another four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. Walk it on up, bring it to the center of that mat, and drop it down low. We got good old-fashioned squats. Drop it down, stand and squeeze. Now, today is all about lower body, so let's really wait ah. up those legs, yeah? We got some squats today, so let's make sure that we're dropping all the way down to 90 degree right here in our warm up. We're making the squats beautiful before we even get started in you okay, the folks? actual workout of today. All right, we got five more seconds for the squats. We're gonna hold it low in three, in two, in one. Hold it 10 seconds to pulse to the floor. Yes, you can. You got it. You can do the oh, chest me up. Thaw. In five, we're grabbing our jump rope. <laughs> we're starting to skip it. This looks so ridiculous. <laughs> we're starting to skip that jump rope. It is the imaginary kind, the best kind of jump rope. And just start to get that heart rate a little bit higher. I'm going to switch this jump rope into a jumping jack. In three, in two, in one. Jumping jacks all the way up and in. All the way up and in. Ten more seconds. We're going to bring it back to that jump rope. Ready, set, let's go. Skipping it, skipping it, skipping it. And we're going to skip it all the way through the finish line of this warm up. You guys got 12 more seconds. So start to pick up the pace as we pick up that heart rate, as we pick up that breathlessness. Final three. Warm up pa lang ka. So pagod na. And done. Ah. All right, guys, shake it off. We'll let it go. Hopefully so we're a little bit more warm, a little bit more ready. And we're starting to really... Can you turn my hand? This is intense. And then we'll take it to our Cossack squats. Now I'm going to show you what both of those moves look like before we even get started because we're going straight back to back to back into them. You only have 10 second recoveries in this circuit. Oof. It's going to be hardcore. All right, guys. Watch me. You're on the knees. You're bringing it up to a standing position. You're bringing it <coughs> right back down. Now we are always going to try to alternate which foot leads the way. And if you want to make the surrender harder, Hold it low in a squat position once you come up from that kneeling position, all right? After that, those weights or those <coughs> legs are going to go super, super wide. I forgot what the body parts are. Legs are going to go wide. You're going side, center, side. That is your Cossack squat. Ah. All right? After that, we're going to go for body weight two case punches. Right now, we're in the back on the knees. Surrenders. Bring it up. Bring it down. Go with control. You're getting your weight into that heel as you stand up tall. And I love a surrender because not only are they hardcore, but they're functional, right? This is a movement that we all have to do, right? You're going to a picnic. You're getting right back up from the floor. Oh, you're picking up your toddler. You're coming right back up from the floor, right? Something that we need to be strong doing, yeah, throughout our lives. When we put it that way, it makes it a little bit more 
more doable, at least to me. All right, guys, spread those feet nice and wide. We're sitting side to side, co sack squat, o'clock. Ready, set, and let's go. Right side, center, side. All the way through the finish line. We got 30 seconds for this move, and then guess what? I'm gonna let you guys take a little break for the legs, and we got suitcase crunches coming on up. We'll wake up those abs a little bit more before we take it to pop squats. My personal favorite. Side, lunge it out. Other side. Now try not to lean over. Instead, we're sitting down and back. Last two, last one. Suitcase crunches. All right, we're in. We're out, oh. we're feeling good, we're feeling great. Ready, set, let's go. Squeeze, and out. Squeeze, and go. Now you guys, I really want you to squeeze and tuck the abs as you drive those knees in, and then bring those hands right by your sides with control, yeah? You got 14 seconds left. Drive, 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 and then bring it out. Make sure to get two more in here. Final five seconds. Yes, you can. Last three, two, and. <coughs> ah. <coughs> All right, guys. Don't get too comfortable. We got to get on to those feet. We got palm spots coming up into a run. <coughs> Drop it low. Zip it up. All the way down, all the way up. Yes, you can. Keep talking to yourself. Keep giving yourself that love, that confidence, and that push. This is where we really get spicy. This is where we raise the roof and the heart rate. I'm talking zone four at least. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Final 10, start to pick up that pace. I'm gonna give you a 15 second recovery. Not yet in six. Keep going for four. And just like that, two and four. Oh. 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 Done. Woo, woo, woo. All right, guys, 50 seconds to recover. And thank goodness, oh. shake it out, walk it out. All right. Going for it again. <sighs> this time we're gonna do it a little bit better. And we're gonna add a jump squat to that surrender. Oh, they're like, yay, Colby, thank you so much. I really wanted that jump squat. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. We're doing it regardless, all right? You're gonna thank me later. I got that body weight surrender at the top. One jump and then bring it right back down. If you're not jumping, take it to a calf raise at the top and then drop those heels down with control. All right. You guys got 10 seconds left. Ooh. We ready? We breathe in? We believe in? I'm ready. All right. Let's get to those knees and let's do the thing. Bring it up, pop off, and then bring it down slow and steady. Let one leg lead the way and then the other leg lead the way. 19 seconds left. We got a final 15. <laughs> Halfway home. Oh, that jump really does make it a lot more mean. A lot more challenging. But nothing we cannot do, right? Four seconds left. Final two. And done. Wow. The lower body is feeling everything. All right, feet are wide. We're going side to side. Not over, not leaning over. Leaning back, all right? Get your way into the heels. And then stand and squeeze. Oh yeah, we're feeling those inner thighs now. We're feeling that control. Find your balance the entire time and feel those inner thighs really helping you get that booty down and back. Get it lower and lower every time if you can. After this, remember, we're hitting the deck. Suitcase crunches. Woo! A nice little break from those legs. Last second right here. And done. All right. Lay it on back, we got the suitcase crunches, everything tucks, everything reaches into, let's go, right now. Remember, we're right back to that pop squat. We're gonna make that pop squat go a little bit extra this time. And then we got a 50 second recovery. So dig in, feel those abs. Yes, they burn, that's okay. You came here for the burn, so start to enjoy it. Start to remember you're doing the thing that you came to do. Eight seconds left. Let's try to get at least two more. Whew. At least two more. I'm telling you, you got it. The last two and on those feet. All right, guys, we're gonna add a little rotation. So, pop squat, rotate the hips. Pop squat, rotate the hips. If that is something that is just way too much coordination today, then feel free to ditch the rotation. 
The main thing during your rotation is I want you to keep your shoulders facing the screen, but turn the hips. Yeah, makes it so much harder. Woo! We are moving now. Eight seconds left, so much plyo. Heart is high, that's what we wanted. Last three, two, and done. You guys, I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating the fact that we are only doing this one more time. All right, guys, shake it off and breathe. Open up the lungs, open up the chest. It's only a 25 minute workout, so we gotta make it count. You need to, make it you need to like relax. All right, guys, keep doing it. Like I like to just pace it out. And if you can, inhale through the nose, exhale through that mouth. All right, we're going right back in for one more lap. Again, if that jump is not working for you, give me a calf raise instead. 30 seconds, last time, so we're gonna do it the best time. Drop it down, bring your weight into those knees, bring it up into the heels, a big jump at the top. Ready, set, let's go. Bring it up, hop off, bring it down. Oh, those 10 second recoveries really do the trick. The whole thing or idea behind today's work is cardio, right? Is getting that heart rate high, is getting a lot of cardiovascular strength happening. A lot of endurance. Eight seconds, bring it down, bring it up. You got it in you. We're not stopping until that timer says. Last two, Woo! done, done, done. All right, pops, I mean, wow, Cossack squats. I'm getting ahead of myself. Feet nice and wide, lean it side to side. Here we go, drop it back, stand and squeeze. After this, you're welcome. We got the suitcase crunches. And then our last set of pop spot with a rotation. Circuit number one is almost done. You guys, let's finish it in style. Let's finish it like we need it, yeah? Really feel those quads. Really feel the control during the Cossack squat, right? I want you to lock in the core. I want you to keep the chest open and strong. Last two. Last one. Whew. All right, guys, hit the deck. Suitcase crunches. And I'm gonna give you a minute off after that pop squat. All right, guys, here we go. Everything squeezes and extends. It's our last time. So enjoy these suitcase crunches. Uh, they hurt so good. A suitcase crunch is one of my favorites. It always really is brutal to the abs. It gets the whole core working hard. We got nine seconds left. Let's try to get three more. I think you got it. Five seconds left. Stay in it. At least one more rep right here to the finish. And done. All right, guys, we got to get back on those feet for our final set of pop squats. This time at the rotation if we want it. Ready, set, let's go. Pop it and then rotate through those hips. We're getting that heart rate all the way up, 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 up to zone four, maybe zone five. Maybe zone five. Push it, push yourself. You know your limits. You know where you can take things. See how far you can go. Maybe even surprise yourself. We got 13 seconds left. It's gonna fly by, so lean into the hustle. Lean into the challenge. Final five right here. Last three, two, and ah. done. Wowza. Woo. Woo. All right, guys. I was about to complain a lot, but then I realized I'm the one that created this workout. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to, I don't think. All right, guys, you can definitely complain. All of you guys can curse my name. Colby, why'd you make us do that? Are we feeling the adrenaline rush yet? I am. It's all about lunges for this next set. Mountain climbers, bicycles, same exact format. All right, you guys, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Bunch of moves that we just repeat, repeat, repeat. All right, we're gonna start things off with the reverse lunge, find your balance. We'll start at the top of our mat and we'll step back and behind. Find the balance, find your lower body strength. And then we'll take it to the mountain climbers after that. Whoo, all right, my heart rate is still up. Hopefully yours is too. Let's keep it in zone three if we can for this first move. All right, guys, ready, stand tall. And let's go, step it back, drive. Find the balance, I 
I love this cue that Coach Melissa always gives, which is keep your feet on train tracks, right? So you're not stepping back and behind your front foot, you're stepping behind your front hip, right? That leg that corresponds to that hip, keep those feet on their separate tracks. Seven seconds left. Yes, get that knee all the way to the floor. You can do it. Done, done, done. All right, we're running the knees. Let's consider this a sprint. And do me a favor, keep your hands underneath the shoulders, not underneath the face. Run those knees into the chest. Off to the races. I'm telling you guys, 30 seconds of mountain climbers. It's mean, but it does the trick. And just like that, well, you know, we're halfway home. Less than 15 seconds left to run it, to run it, to run it. Keep those hands right underneath the shoulders. Don't push the hips back. Last four, last three, two. Oh, done. Whew. Thank goodness. All right, guys, flip it over. Oh my Ice gosh. For 30, and then we are running it back after a 40 second recovery. Switch, switch, switch. Abs are on fire. Now, yes, we're still working, we're still moving, but this is a little bit of an opportunity to get the heart rate slightly down. Before oh we my God. In for round two of the circuit. All the way through, nine seconds left. Keep on hustling, keep on grinding. Only four more, you got in you. Two, and ah. Oof. All right, guys, it's gonna be hard for me to peel myself back off this mat, so I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it immediately. Rise if you can, and let's get ready for those reverse lunges. Round two, we're doing this three times, so second time's the charm. And we only got, I mean, we got less than eight minutes left of this workout. And part of that is your cool down. Eight minutes of your lives. Not a lot of time, right? But really does the trick. All right, reverse lunges. Second time, let's find our balance. Let's find our strength. Let's find maybe a few more reps if we can this time. Ready, set, we're in it. Step back and drive. You're so welcome, you guys, because if you notice, this is actually a slightly shorter circuit than circuit number one. Circuit one, I gave you four moves. Circuit two, I'm only giving you three moves. So we definitely got it in us. We're strong enough, we're so capable. All you gotta do is just feel like finishing those legs. It's okay, lean into it, lean into it. Last three, try to get one more rep, and done. All right, we're running those knees into the chest. If you hate mountain climbers, you're not alone. I hate them too. We're gonna do the things we hate together. Ready, set, let's go. Drive the knees into the chest. Run it like you mean it. As fast as you can. Thinking about that core the entire time being the thing that drives those knees into the chest. Right here, you guys, final 15 seconds. We are halfway home. And just like that, final 10, see if you can pick up the pace just a little bit. Final six. <sighs> Don't you dare stop. You're way too close to the finish line. Two and done. Woo, we gotta get there fast. Bicycles. And then we are in our last lap. Lay it back. Take your breath. Ready, set. Let's go. We're squeezing. We're switching. We're moving. We're definitely feeling that end of the workout feeling, right? Oh my goodness. Go. This was hard. What the heck? This is hard. I can't. We are hard, right? Hardcore. We can get through it. Nine seconds left. Keep squeezing. Keep pushing. Slow and steady does it. Two seconds. And done. All right, guys. We're going to do this one more time. One more time. One more time. Oh, yeah. She said from the floor. Oh my goodness. All right, it's tough, it's tough out here on this mat, huh? All right, we're gonna do this one more time, and then we're gonna cool it down. We're gonna feel so good about ourselves. So I need you to start to, you to start pumping yourself up. I'm gonna do the same. I'm pumping myself up, I'm telling myself we got this. Those legs are feeling it, but that's okay. That's what we came here for, right? Let's enjoy it, let's indulge in it. Let's revel in it. Last set, reverse lunges. Ready, let's go. Step it back, drive and squeeze. Last little push for those legs right here. 
So it's okay. I know the quads are shaking, shaking, shaking. Everything <laughs> is feeling alive, but we're gonna burn out those muscles one last time. One last time, right here, right now, 10 seconds. Try to get maybe two more for these final few moments. Last three seconds, two and done. Yeah, done with the reverse lunges. We're hitting that high plank. Mountain climbers in three. Get there, get there, get there. Last two and run it. Run the knees into the chest like you mean it. Get that heart rate as high as you possibly can. I want you to visualize something worth running towards and just go for it, right? Maybe you'll start to pick up the pace a little bit. This is your final 15 seconds of mountain climbers. Use it, make the most of it. Stay at that rhythm, stay at it. We got six seconds left. Run, 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 Mom. final four. Oh, uh, three, you have to drive me two, to, uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow. No. Guys, we got the bicycles and then we are chilling. We are kicking it together for a little cool down. It is three minutes. Much needed. All right, guys, switch and switch. I was so late getting to those bicycles. Oh my goodness, this is the finish line of the workout. <laughs> and it should feel like it. Keep going. Remind yourself that you got it in you. If you don't believe it, I'm here to remind you, you should. It's there, it's in you. 10 more seconds of bicycles are right there. We just got to dig. Six, final four right here. Finish it off. And done. Woo! All right, you guys, just flip it over. Give me an up dog to start. Same way we warmed up, we'll finish. Let's try some baths. What a doozy of a workout. Let's take a few more moments rolling the shoulders back, really stretching the abdominals, and then come up nice and slowly into a seat. You can face the screen. We'll bring the right foot out, that left heel inside and come all the way down for a hamstring stretch. Wow, lower body cardio is always, I feel like that title, you just know, you know what you're getting into. And then if you add Coach Colby on top of that, you know what you're getting into. It's gonna be hard, we're gonna push ourselves. But the coolest thing about pushing ourselves on this mat together is just knowing that we can push ourselves off the mat, you know, in all of those life moments that are really hard, that are really challenging. Let's go ahead and switch those legs, other foot, hamstring stretch, lay it forward. I don't know about you guys, but all I'm thinking about now is what I'm going to eat after this workout. Time to fuel, time to eat well, time to nourish. For knowing you guys at Tempo, maybe this isn't even your first workout of the day or we're gonna do something else. This is a nice stackable workout. I wouldn't recommend doing any more cardio, maybe a build, maybe a recovery class. Let's bring those feet forward and then lean it all the way down. You could always pair this with an upper body little moment, maybe a 20, 25 minute upper body day if you're feeling really like getting after it, but know that today, this 25 minute lower body weight cardio class, maybe it's enough. Maybe it's more than enough. For me, it's definitely enough. This is gonna be the only class I do today. Let's bring those heels and toes together, flutter those knees. Butterfly stretch. This is one of my favorite stretches. You can flutter the knees if you want. You can push those knees wider with the elbows, whatever feels right. We'll hang on to this for another eight seconds and then we'll come into a straddle stretch. So let's take one last deep breath and then flip it over. Knees are wide. Hips can stay back mind or they can start to come forward. But drop onto those forearms and just open up those inner thighs. You can lean right, left, whatever feels right. Think about those Cossack squats. Oh, did a lot of work through those inner thighs. Last few stretches we're gonna do is gonna be a deep squat. So get there whenever you're ready. Weight is in those heels. You're reaching right, you're leaning left, whatever feels good, drive those knees wider. Let's take one last deep breath in through the nose in this position, out through the mouth, and then bring those hands down, lift the hips high, big forward hold. Hang out here for a few moments, letting the neck hang super heavy. Letting that lower back relax, and then let's start to rise nice and slowly. Thank yourself for showing up today. The hard part is so, so, so way over. You don't have a single piece of equipment, so you don't need to put anything away. 
Um, and I will see you guys for the next one right here on the mats.